a pack. Uh, so spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I wanted to be able to do a review of the movie The Flash and not have spoilers, but I just, there's so much I want to say about it and I can't do it without spoilers. So uh, we're going to start, you know, um, I'm going to probably bounce back and forth between positive and negatives. I wanted this to be more structured, but that movie was all over the place. So I'm all over the place. <laughs> First of all, uh, Ezra, um, the guy who plays the Flash, that is, if for those of you who don't know. His acting, I'm not saying it was bad, because him and his personal life aside, I am judging this solely on the movie. So I'm not going to be bringing up any of the, the other stuff outside of the movie world. So no reality coming into this, just the movie. And any other movies that they're connected to, because I'll get on that in a minute. So, um, man, I'm still going to try and minimize the spoilers, but there's definitely spoilers. So, did he annoy anyone else? I, I'm just like, I never remember getting annoyed with the Flash. I love the Flash. He's one of my favorites in DC. And... I I really got annoyed with him. And that was before he d did any time traveling. I just literally got annoyed with his character. I was like, why am I already annoyed with him? And so there's that. And even my husband was commenting on sometimes when during sad scenes, he didn't seem like, like sometimes the crying was good. And it, it seemed like, okay, yeah, he's genuinely sad. But then maybe it was just a too prolonged of a sadness or whatever. And it just came off kind of fake, shallow. I know he's acting, so, you know, some grace with that. But I don't know. Some people aren't good with acting sad. I don't, I'm not saying I can. So, you know, I'm not saying I'm better actor than him because I don't think I am. But, you know, that's just one of the things that kind of took me out of it a little bit is like when you can't believe the actor it does make it hard um I liked that they kept a lot of his origin story um they were kind of I feel like they were playing off this tv series which kind of upset me because I like him as the flash more than I like Ezra and so I was just like okay so you're building off what the series built okay because it's like you came into it and you should have known what was going on and not that it was hard to pick up but it was just like okay you're hmm all right so it just it felt like oh yeah you should already know this and if people hadn't been watching the flash series or were familiar with the flash they'd have been like what what's going on what why is this so there was that and then, I'll be honest, um, if it wasn't for the character that they brought in, I'm still trying to be vague and as little spoilers as possible, um, he, so yeah, I'm spoiling that, it's a he, he made the movie as far as I'm concerned, you know, um, that screw it. Michael Keaton made the movie. He was the thing that made the movie more entertaining. Um, he had so many lines that were like throwbacks and there was just like a lot of nods, which I really appreciated. Whoever did that, they just, they really crafted it. Sorry, my hands get tired. Uh, they really crafted it well to really honor the original Batman movie, you know, not Adam West Batman, but Michael Keaton Batman. They did it so well and they made so many things look like it was from his movies. And so I love that. Whoever, ooh, A++. Um, so good. 
I love for if you whatever you think it, for Michael Keaton alone watch the movie just for him I so that's the best part of it that aside there are two irksome things I can overlook the fact that Supergirl wasn't a blonde that still kind of ticked me off because Okay, I know that people are like, oh, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's so many of those girls in the world. Okay, but how many superheroes have blonde hair and blue eyes? Girls. She, I looked up to her because she was the only blonde haired superhero. I was like, I could dress up as Supergirl. And now you're going to make her brunette. <sighs> I just, Wonder Woman's a brunette. Okay, you don't need another brunette. Now, if you would have made her, like, a redhead, I'd have been like, okay, that's kind of cool. You know, but we have brunettes. In fact, most of the guys are brunettes, right? So, a little pet peeve there. <laughs> blonde power! No, uh, no. I, I don't really even look blonde anymore, really. I guess the light kind of highlights some blonde. Anyway, rabbit trail. So... I, I, that irked me. It didn't ruin anything because the person they got to play her was good. She was really good. I actually liked her and her personality and her acting. Um, then the other irksome thing is it's like they borrowed from a Superman movie. And I, I know there's some time travel involved and if you don't know that I don't know how you avoided knowing any of that because of the trailers and such, but it was like, okay, we're going to not actually craft our own story. We're just going to replay stuff from the old story of, of a Superman story and then, you know, use CG and computer graphics to make everyone look right. And I was just like, y'all kind of over did it with that like they used a lot of deep fakes in this movie and not all of them were very good looking and don't get me wrong there was some deep fakes that I was like oh great nod oh hilarious you know because it's like maybe people who have passed or just are really old so they can't you know be in that young version I'm not gonna say what because I've already spoiled some but you know <sighs> But some of the deep fakes were just like, I don't know. It felt poorly done and a little much. Um, especially from the characters from the Superman movie. I understand why they did it, but I was just like, I really wish they could have crafted their own thing. Instead of making it something that Ezra's characters, the Flash character knew about make it something he didn't know about and you know maybe a culmination of different things from some of the different movies i'd have been okay with that but it's like no we're just gonna yep, yep this is this is happening again even though everything's different but this is gonna be the same and i was just like okay you're doing that okay so i can look past that it's annoying but you know it's still it's a storytelling mechanism it makes sense it wasn't bad. I just, I personally didn't like it. It rubbed me a little bit the wrong way. Now, uh, I, continuity is a very big thing for me. And normally, so I believe in the suspension of disbelief, which if I'm not mistaken, that is you forget everything for the sake of enjoying the movie, which I did. While I was watching it, that's what I did. And then afterwards, some things sit in. That's why I waited a little while before doing this. Because I really wanted to think and process what I saw. Don't get me wrong. I love the movie. I want to own it. And I can watch it and enjoy it. So don't think I'm saying, you know, I hate it. It's a B movie or whatever. I'm not saying any of that. I think people should watch it. I think it was, I was actually thinking it's very good. But if I'm going to be honest... <laughs> The whole premise of the movie is 
uh, this is a huge, huge spoiler. Huge. Okay, know this. The whole premise of the movie is that if you go back and you change something, you don't create... How do I put it? You don't change your timeline. Your timeline stays on the same track. What you do is you branch off another timeline, another created universe, and that thus is a multiverse. DC has been doing that for a long time. They did not steal this from Marvel, or if they did, they stole it a long time ago in the comics. I don't know who did it first. But the multiverse is a very old idea. And so what they did is they had a character, again, I'm trying, a character interfere with the Flash traveling through time. And then this character's younger self got killed, which killed this character. And this is really what bothered me because wait a minute, Hold the phone. You just said that by altering this one past, you don't change the future. So I feel like you're breaking your own lore. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm thinking about it in the wrong way because time travel gets really, really goofy and complicated. And that's, I like time travel in movies, but I like it to just a certain extent because it's, it's really, it's hard to say how things turn out, especially if you set the lore like that. Now, if they would have said, you change this, it changes everything. Boom. Makes sense. Continuity. Good. But killing the younger version of themselves, wouldn't that mean... I don't know. It just, it seems like they shouldn't have died by that logic. They should have stayed alive. And I just, you know, if you have anything to say, if you have like some scientific knowledge, if you're, you know, smarter than me and know their train of thought, I mean, I guess I can kind of see it because they were operating outside of time in this moment. I don't know. It just, it didn't seem like a proper way to do it. And then the ending. Um, I like the nod. I like the nod to, um, you, you know, older movies. But it left me with WTF. Literally a WTF moment. I'm like, so where is the DC Universe now? Was this movie just a movie for movie's sake? Are y'all gonna do anything else? Is this flat? Are you rebooting everything? What? I'm so confused. And so it was like, it was a confused movie ending with confusion. There was, and then the after credit scene was stupid. I don't care what anyone says. That left me even more confused. I'm like, wait, what? Huh? So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. And so for a movie standalone with some nods to older movies, great. But going forward, I'm like, what the heck? So, I mean... For nostalgia, I'd give it an 8. For a movie standalone, I'd give it a 7. For continuity, 6. <laughs> 5, maybe? Uh, but, you know, that's it. That was my real take from that. And I still think it's a good movie, but I'm like, what does this have to do with the rest of the DC Universe? It's like, I felt like they broke everything. And is that the point? Is it supposed to be broken? I don't know. Maybe I missed something in the news, but <laughs> I just was left like, okay, where do we go from here? <laughs> so, hope you like, and 
let me know what you thought of the movie. Until next time, out the moon.